Altar Sim Lab is known for being a highly capable yet easy to use multi-physics simulation tool. It integrates structural, fluid, electronic simulation capabilities all within that same interface and includes very powerful automation capabilities that really simplify the complex engineering workflows. Now in this video, I wanna go a little deeper into the electronics cooling capabilities of SimLab. SimLab allows users to understand the designs from a board level, a component level, or even a complete systems level. The first thing I wanna show you is the SimLab ribbon and where you can find these solutions. From the solution tab, you can see there's an electronics, a battery, and an e-motor option. And each one has a subset of solution types that you can create from that. Then if I go into the analysis tab, I have the smart objects button, which allows me to identify components in my design, like resistors, sensors, circuit boards, and other things like that. And this allows me to get a more accurate result at the end. Then I can go into the electronics tab and get even more detailed about my setup. I can define each layer in my circuit board. The equivalent material option allows me to map materials to PCBs for higher accuracy. Under the chip icon, I can choose the 3D IC or integrated circuit icon and add chiplets here. And I can include the properties and create a mesh all from this menu. Then in the 2024.1 version of SimLab, I have the option to align any identified chips to my board by base or body. Okay, so let's show a basic electronics thermal analysis workflow. You can see I have a typical PCB here with a variety of components on a board with traces on the bottom. And I'm gonna start by going to the solutions tab, come to the electronics icon and choose the electronics thermal study. Now you can see here from this menu, it chooses the electroflow solver for me automatically. And then for the bodies, I'm gonna to come to my model viewer and choose the PCB assembly, the entire PCB. I'm gonna choose a thermal analysis and steady state, but if I wanted this to be transient and include flow, I can do that here as well. Now you can see here on the left-hand side is created a electronics thermal study for me with all of those details already included. Now, if I go to the layer definition, you can see the PCB layers, the metals, and the dielectric materials for each layer. And you can change it here if it needs any modification. Also, in this menu, you can actually see what percent of each layer is made up of metal. And that can be important just because that can influence the thermal connectivity of your entire system. So it's good to know that up front. Now, next, I'm just gonna identify the components on the board as a silicon semiconductor material. So now I need to identify my heat source. And for this one, I'm gonna start with a conduction heat source, and I'm gonna choose a few of these components and just put one watt as their output for it. Then I also wanna add a convection heat source as well. And for that, I'm gonna choose the entire assembly. I'm gonna leave the ambient temperature at 293 Kelvin, which is about 67 degrees Fahrenheit, just for that environment. And then I'll make sure the transfer coefficient is set at 10 watts. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is set up my key planes. And what this does is help me capture thin parts of my system within this discretized geometry. Now, in this menu, you can see there are a few options. For this, I wanna use the PCB as the model on the XY plane and hit okay. Now you can see my key planes are now created and I can discretize my geometry. And for this, I'm gonna use that global icon. It has default values in there and you can add those yourself if you want. Um, once you hit okay, you can see that over here in my model viewer, I show a new assembly called the PCB Array GD, which is geometry discretize. So now I can see here in my model viewer, all the different components have been pulled over. And now I just wanna make sure that they've been identified correctly. So I just wanna choose that by material. I'm gonna right click here in the background and then you can do display in color and I can choose material, but you can see a few of the other options here. But now you can see when I choose material, it's color coding everything by the material that I've selected for them. And now that my setup is complete, I can run my study. I just go back to the solution browser, find the results option and right click it and hit update. And this analysis will solve pretty quickly and I can check my results. 
And another cool thing about the new version of SimLab 2024.1 is that you can view the results directly on the geometry rather than just the voxel mesh now. So I hope this has helped you see a little bit more about Altair SimLab and some of the specialized tools that it has for electronics cooling. If you want to learn more about Altair SimLab, go to www.trueinsight.io. Thanks.